Junji Ito presents Hallucinations. As I thought, I need to rebury him much deeper. Sleep deep within the earth, Nakajima. I killed my best friend Nakajima last night. The reason was stupid. It was because he grew taller. His height surpassed mine and kept becoming taller. You were so cool, Nakajima. You saw that I hadn't grown and tried to console me, even though just a while ago, you were short like me. As I thought, this is too shallow. S so in reality, I did kill you. It wasn't a dream. The evidence, Nakajima's corpse is right here. I didn't intend to kill you. It's just that it felt like you pitied me. It was tough. Ah! Sorry, did it hurt? Uh. Uh. What is this? What was that last night? I covered the body with dirt in the garden without thinking, but my head is shrouded in chaos. Was that real? There's no way it was real. I've never heard of a corpse's neck stretching. Besides, that length was not normal. In other words, it's impossible. Well, Sue, I saw an illusion because I was too worked up. I was in a state that made me hallucinate. I'll check it out tonight. Oshikiri-gun, Whoa! Ah, oh! oh. It's just you, Hada. You surprised me. Don't be so surprised. More importantly, Oshikiri-kun, it's terrible! Nakajima-kun has gone missing! Last night, I got a call from Nakajima-kun's mother. Eh? Uh, uh, our house got one too. A phone call. I'm worried. Could he have gotten himself in an accident? No way. Nakajima's mother called Hada. That just means she was that close to Nakajima. Hey, Oshikiri-kun, is anything coming to your mind? No, nothing. Of course. Since he passed 180 centimeters, he's gotten popular And Nakajima. He's been my best friend since elementary school. We were both short, and our seats were always in the front. We were bullied a lot by the bigger guys, but we defended each other. We proceeded to go to the same high school, but around that time, he started rapidly growing taller. It's weird how when he grew taller, his attitude became bolder. If Hada, who's been our friend for a long time, fell for Nakajima, there's nothing I could do. Besides, my feelings for Hada... Nakajima-kun, you really had a rapid growth spurt. A year ago, you were about the same height as me. Yeah, even I find it unsettling. I grew 20 centimeters in one year. Can you believe that ridiculous speed? Uh... Hey, Oshikiri, you were here. No, I was just passing by. See ya, I've got something to do. He'll grow soon, too, I'm sure. Yeah. Stop that terrible attempt to comfort me. Hey, Oshikiri! Yes? Weren't you listening? Nakajima has been missing since Saturday. You guys were close. Do you know anything? No. Oshikiri-kun, do you have a moment? What is it, Hada? Oshikiri-kun, your best friend is missing and you don't seem to be worried at all. That's not true! But you guys have such a close relationship and strong friendship. Sometimes I was jealous of your relationship. But I admired that kind of friendship. That's why I can only see your attitude right now as strange. But even if you say he's missing, there are a lot of possible situations. He could have left on a journey alone. We can't be certain that he's dead. Don't say something like that! It's just a possibility. Really? Do you really not know? I don't know. I didn't see him Saturday. You're lying! <sighs> I saw Nakajima-kun enter your house Saturday evening. <laughs> that was... Takeyuki Nissan. He's my cousin. He's a college student, and he comes over every Saturday to tutor me. 
It was dark out, so you were probably mistaken. I really don't know about Nakajima. Please, believe me. Hana! Whoa! Oshikiri-kun. Stay away! <sighs> don't come any closer! What is this thing? Hey, stop that! You bastard! What are you doing? Let me go! She's a ghost! Look at her neck! What are you daydreaming about? Are you okay? No! What I'm saying is true! Her neck stretched! Please believe me! This is strange. Go get the teacher. Oh, Shakiri. Why did you do such a thing? You're usually so well behaved. I can't believe that you would injure a girl. I'm sorry. There's no way they'd believe me, but I really did see that. No, maybe it was a hallucination. Yesterday's corpse and today's Hada both occurred during the times when my heart was agitated. Takayuki said that it's easy to see hallucinations during such times. Oshikiri. Oshikiri! What are you spacing out for? Are you listening to me? Oh, just a bit. That's impossible! Well, Oshikiri-kun, what happened to your neck? Really, what happened? Why is it so short? Oh, Shikiri, someone like you ah! will be fixed by me! Let go! Ah! Hey, look! Whoa! What is that? His neck is so short! It's a monster! It's a hallucination. They're all hallucinations. Of course, Nakajima's corpse was too. But I can't very well go back and confirm it. It's okay to go into your club room, right? No! You can't! I... I wonder if I'm going insane. I ran into the streets at night. Even if I know it was an illusion, it felt like Nakajima was going to enter the club room, so I couldn't stay there any longer. Tonight, I'll stay at Takayuki Nissan's house. <sighs> I see. Even if it is a hallucination, it's rare for necks to stretch. Maybe I've gone crazy. You're not an alcoholic, and you're not on drugs. And if you're sleeping properly... <laughs> no, I'm studying psychology in college, so I know there's an explanation. This probably stems from your sense of isolation and your complex. My sense of isolation and my complex? Your parents are overseas for work. You're living alone in that huge mansion. This feeling of loneliness and your distress over your height. These psychological conditions all piled up, so you saw hallucinations of others' height stretching. Although it's weird that it's just the neck. Neck, huh? Uh. <laughs> Toru, why don't you stay at this house until your parents return to Japan? Our dad is always saying you should. Well, it depends on your decision. Ow! Wow, why is the ceiling so low? Takuyuki Nissan! Right now, I'm seeing a hallucination! What? Does my neck look long to you? Cut it out! Hey! Toru! What's wrong? The way to resolve these hallucinations is to check Nakajima's body. Everything started on that night. That was a visual hallucination. I just have to confirm that it really was just a normal corpse. As long as I have any possibility of doubt, I'll continue to see these illusions. So 
this is where you are. Nakajima, please forgive me! Oh, Shigiri, I wonder what happened. I don't know why, but I've become this form. Can you believe it? This happened in just two days. I wonder if it's because you strangled me. <laughs> It seems like after that, I lost my sanity. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. Soon, a detective came. I confessed everything. The detective listened with suspicion on his face, but... That's not unreasonable. The hallucinations didn't matter. Because I'm the criminal who murdered Nakajima. And only that is the reality. Soon, the garden wall will be dug up, and the corpse will be properly buried. With this... I'll be released from the illusions. What should we do? Even if you ask that, it's really become like this, so there's nothing we can do. It seems that the boy only saw the neck. It was only the tip of the iceberg. Is this kind of thing possible? It's a present day mystery. What's the cause? This wouldn't even fit in a tanker. Just how many meters is this? The head is burrowed under the wall. What should we do? Maybe it still intends to grow. 